Hi there everybody and welcome to my tribulation guide for Amazing Cultivation Simulator. I'm Icon and this video will guide you through all you need to know to successfully survive tribulations. I'm going to explain what a tribulation is, why you need to suffer for that and how to beat it eventually. So let's get right started. Tribulations are basically tests of the heavens. Whenever you do a tribulation, the fury of the heavens com comes down on a certain person and it's up to this person to survive that. Tribulations come in different flavors. There's basically three different types of tribulations I know of and that would be first the tribulation to, well, I would call it the, the test tribulation, where you have to do some tribulations to advance further in your cultivation, like the seven slaughtering sword features a lot of these. The other method of tribulations would be the Yao Gai transformation tribulation, by far the most famous one, and last but not least, the attainment tribulation, which can be done voluntarily by every cultivator, which is, well, high enough in cultivation status to actually try those. So when you try out to do a tribulation, let's get to our demigod here, you will always see that before you go for it, there's a certain element attached to the tribulation and there's a little bit of a description what happens there. Attainment tribulations are exclusively for one reason and that's to lower the attainment of your cultivator. The more often you do these, the more vicious they become. And well, I'm going to show you here what the tribulation will look like. Don't do it like that, like I do it here without any preparations, but I want to do one bad tribulation to show you how it's not done to give you an idea of how, how you should do it. So here this tribulation is a wood tribulation and I told her to do the tribulation here. I'm going to talk about the positioning of that later. So now you see the amount of chi for the tribulation gets allocated and there's this thunderstorm cloud forming above my person. And as a rule of thumb, if the number if the tribulation chi number is heavily exceeding the, the chi of your character, you're most likely done so. So we're now we can now watch how An Wen Fang will get destroyed by the tribulation. So once this is fully charged, the tribulation will now discharge the amount of chi on the cultivator, and basically the tribulation will be over when the tribulation chi has been used up or the cultivator is dead. Just keep in mind and watch here that the tribulation is attacking the artifact of the cultivator here. As you see here, the blood draining spear gets depleted every time the lightning goes down. But it's pretty clear that Wen Feng has no chance of doing, of surviving this. She's going to die way before that happens. And here we have a thunderstruck cultivator, and that's not how to do it. But what should we have done differently? To prepare properly for a tribulation is a many step process. So first off, you can wear certain things that protect you from tribulations. There are items like the giant turtle's shell. This is just an artifact which you carry around, which hugely increases one's resistance to chi damage. That's exactly what you want to have in these scenarios. The torch dragon, which can be summoned by the coins from the little elf, sometimes also drops or offers you clothing. Where is it at? Not the cinder one. Here, the the scale uh, the scale set increases the wearer's protection skill. This also reduces the amount of incoming damage. So with a giant turtle's shell and the scale pants and the scale tunic on top of that, you already have a pretty decent start. But you can also do a lot of other things. So there are two ways now to go forward when you want to prepare your cultivator's artifacts. As you saw there, the tribulation was attacking the artifact of An Wen Feng. There's two things which you can do. For low quality 
tribulations, I dare, I, as I like to call them, like the ones that you have to brave for advancement or in the seven slaughtering sword or such, they usually are around 8 to 15 kg and you can easily cheese them out by creating an artifact which has a very very low chi pool. So my personal recommendation here are the acupuncture needles because if you turn acupuncture needles into artifacts you get a artifact which, ha which has a tremendously low chi capacity. Why is a low chi capacity good in this scenario? It's quite simple. Every lightning strike of the tribulation hits the artifact. Every lightning strike of the tribulation has a fixed amount of damage. Let's say hypothetically it does 20,000 damage. If your artifact only has 100 chi, then the lightning will strike, put your artifact on 0 HP, and then you will recharge it again. Effectively, you have then spent only 100 chi to tank a blow of 20,000 chi. This is an easy way to cheese out tribulations if you don't have the necessary pool, but a nifty little artifact crafter which can help you there. This though, keep in mind, will only work with smaller tribulations because at some point the effect that you abuse the overkill malfunction of this game <laughs> eventually wears off. A tribulation like when Feng's tribulation is not too easy to survive with these things. There are other things that you can do. Among those, I want to talk first about condemnation and virtue. Condemnation is what you get when you are nasty. Virtue is what you get when you are a nice guy, like helping people and burying dead and whatsoever. Every point of virtue acts as a positive multiplicator for the tribulation, which means the more virtue, the less damage the tribulation deals. You can already get the idea what happens with uh, condemnation. Condemnation acts as a negative multiplier, which means the more condemnation, the more damage you, de you suffer. So ideally, you want to have a virtuous cultivator for higher level of for higher levels of tribulations. But that's not all you can do. If you want to survive a higher level of tribulation, just go for the artifacts your cultivator likes to use, or even better, no artifacts at all. How does that work? In this example, I would, uh, let's say Sean would get this uh, tribulation. I would take care that he's only wearing the finest items here, the turtle shell, the pants. Also keep in mind that there are talismans which increase chi barrier, which are also acting just like that. And there's also skills which we can learn. Let's uh, see here. If you type in barrier here in the search menu, you find that there are barrier power bonus modifiers. So this is what you want to have. Barrier power bonus modifiers are basically reducing the amount of damage your character suffers. The more you have of these, the better. So the other stat here was, let's see if there's anything else you can put up. So no, these skills are what you can take. Um, there's, of course, last but not least, a method to deal with tribulations, and that's to increase your total chi amount as much as possible. This helps a ton too. Learning barrier skills, the maximum chi amount and items are basically the best things you can do. I do recommend you to not use artifacts out of a simple reason. When a lightning strikes, when the tribulation lightning strikes your artifact, your artifact doesn't have any armor, it doesn't have barrier. So basically 20,000 damage from the tribulation don't get cut down by anything if it hits the artifact. So what that means, if your cultivator is having an insanely high barrier skill, yet using an artifact during the tribulation, what happens would be the 20,000 damage Thunder hits your artifact for 20,000 and then you have to recharge it for 20,000 again. If you would be sitting there without an artifact and let's say you have a barrier value of I don't know how many percent, basically what I'm trying to say is your barrier only protects your cultivator and cuts down the damage only if the lightning actually hits the cultivator and not his artifacts. And that's why 
Int most interestingly enough, you are better off in tribulations without an artifact and a very high barrier skill in general. If you wonder where it, how good your character is, here's the barrier power. So barrier power is 0.55 points per chi. So basically what that means, from every point of chi, there's going to be a certain amount of uh, damage being reduced here. There we go. As you see here, I can I have a hard time translating that properly because basically this guy would have would absorb more barrier than he's suffering damage and that's not how it works. But as a rule of thumb, the higher this stat is, the better. And if you are watching this video and you're able to explain how this stat works, be my guest. I have only learned that the more barrier power, the better. So that's the next thing that we can do. Let's see if I, I feel like I have forgotten something in the skill bar, but I don't think I did. Okay, last but not least, there's one more thing. Like I said, every tribulation has a certain element. If we check out wood, wood gets beaten by metal. So if you start and turn the environment by flooring, for example, let's put down a dark steel flooring here. If we if we start manipulating the environment and enriching this place with more and more metal flavored chi, the power of this area grows. The power of the tribulation grows weaker and weaker. As you see here, this place has now a little bit of metal chi. The more metal chi you have allocated at this point, the better. You have to adjust that, of course, to your uh, art to your element of choice. So with these things together, you should be able to beat tribulations. From my own experience, the, mo the two most important factors are have as much chi as possible and have as much barrier rating as possible. These are the most powerful things. If you don't can get your hands on those and you have to brave smaller tribulations, use the acupuncture needle trick. It really works well for a lot of different uh, situations and overall everything which gives you on top of that more chi regeneration like eating certain pills and medicines is also very helpful but only to a certain degree. There's also medicines which increase your shield rating. I think there's even a shield potion. And that's just uh, yeah, your shield pill. Increases your body protection chi for a certain amount of time. So these things can help as well. Just, uh... <laughs> sorry guys, I, I just keep that feeling like I forgot to show you some skill, but I don't think I did. So, no. Here, barrier power bonus modify. Yeah, okay. So that's all I know of to deal with tribulations. And overall, my last piece of advice, if you happen to struggle with tribulations and you're not able to, te to deal with them, that's mostly because your cultivator has either not enough base chi per se, so he needs a reincarnation and more base chi during his formation process, or you are lacking the necessary skills or both. Basically, the more you can allocate more and more max chi, the more different laws your, your sect has. And it boiled down to me to the point where I could say, the more different laws I had, the easier it was to survive the tribulations. As a really neat tip here on the side, whenever you want a really good law for beating tribulations, Wait a sec. I can highly recommend the Heaven Stealing Law because this one is featuring really a lot of different tanky skills where you have barrier bonus modifiers and max chi modifiers. Here we have stat increasers. I really figure I really like that one a lot and if you want to have good skills for, for tribulations in general, this one was quite good, but there's also the Jade Purity Immortal Law, exactly, which just uh, brings up 
a lot of different max chi increasers which was for my personal opinion also very very useful so i hope that was kind of helpful for you ah here you have a terror force more barrier bonus i hope that was kind of helpful for you the tribulation topic is kind of threatening at first but the more often you do it the less threatening it grows and oh yeah one last thing which is worth mentioning tribulations of course are influenced also by the um by the seasons so basically a wood tribulation w is best served during a high metal time this is complicated i know but just experiment around with it and the most basic tips that i applied here will bring you through 90 percent of the tribulations and if you fail just either reincarnate or retry it with a new setup okay so drop your comments down below if there's anything you want to add to this topic feel free to do so because i'm pretty sure i haven't covered up all methods of dealing of uh, beating tribulations but i think i covered most of them leave a thumbs up on that video of course to make it more visible and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already i do daily content and you might want to Turn on those notifications to not miss anything in the future. Also in the description down there below, you'll find my Twitch channel where I do daily cheats, daily, daily jeans. No, I do daily streams and you might want to check that out too. Last but not least, there's ways and means to support this channel by Patreon or Coffee. If you might want to check them out, it would make me super happy. If not, let me thank you one more time for watching this video. See you guys next time and have a good day. Bye bye.